folks, welcome back to the ABC Journeyman. I am the Custard Prophet. We're back here at our fifth club, Brackley Town, and it is we and we're here for season two. Season one ended disappointingly, losing in the playoffs. But can we push on with season two? Well, we've started the season already, but the question is, are we going to manage to get Mr. Barhonas into the squad? Well, the answer is no. Unfortunately, we tried to get him back uh, on loan and um, Bolton wanted him to play at a different club with higher quality players. So, unfortunately, Barjones is not here, but we have got a replacement for him who is scoring a few goals. So, we have released uh, quite a few players, as you can see, a lot of players. There was a lot of average-ish players who were on reasonable wages and we really wanted to use that money to give ourselves a bit of a better quality squad and that's what we've done so a massively reduced squad uh, but we have used that money well I think we've, we have improved the squad quite significantly let's go have a look at the players in players out just including the likes of Mac Riley goalkeeper Peglar the backup goalkeeper Tom Knowles um, left back uh, Wadsworth uh, the right back as well, um, I forget who that was now, he has gone um, also. So we've we've really made some big changes to this, this squad, but I think we've made some really good transfers. So the transfers start here, so there's, I think the six of them overall started bringing in, in, in place of uh, Mac Riley, we have uh, Sam McNally who has, has come in. Uh, he's been actually injured for the very start of the season, so he's only just got back in. But I think he is an upgrade on Mac Riley. A little bit better in the air. Uh, he's reasonably fast, and so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And he's already scored a couple of goals um, since he's been back, so pretty happy with that one. Mick Brown is a player who can play both on the right and the left side on loan. Uh, we're not actually paying anything here from Scunthorpe, but I think it's a really decent signing. Yeah, I think he's a really decent signing and he certainly started well. We have been playing him as a winger and I've just had a note from the Scunthorpe manager saying we need to play him as an inside forward, um, an, an inside winger or inverted winger, otherwise they're going to take him back. So we'll we'll try him in that role and see how he does. This one is an absolute corker. Uh, Shakimba Graham, uh, who we bought in on for a free from Chelsea, is an Antigua and Barbudan player but I think he's an absolute snip of the signing playing as the deep line playmaker unfortunately he is going to be out for today's game uh, because he's on international duty but for just £250 a week that isn't that is as good a signing as you could possibly get he's he started okay but I think in this game that defensive midfield position or the deep line playmaker position doesn't seem to attract really good ratings so I don't I think his rating is actually slightly higher than it seems to be shown there. So we've also upgraded our right back. I think this guy is infinitely better, better than the player we had previously. So uh, really fast down there. He's got an ability to cross. And uh, most of the things in uh, of his attributes are where they need to be, with the exception perhaps of off the ball. But really pleased with that signing. Another cracker. We're paying a bit of a... A chunk for him, £500 a week, but I really was struggling to find a right back, so I was thrilled to find him and that he would come. Darren Dunn is a player we've got uh, for the, at the back. So he, he's come in and he provides us with a little bit of uh, backup in defence because we are we, we don't have any defenders, so this, this is pretty good having him in. Uh, but the player that we bought in to replace Barjones is on loan from Sheffield Wednesday. Alex Cardos looks really good for this level, I think. 18-year-old Romanian, worth quite a lot of money for, for us, but a four-star potential rising to five-star, um, scored seven in seven. So I'm, pr I'm pretty pleased with that. He's not quite the, the finished article yet. And he does go missing in games, uh, but he is scoring goals, so I'm pretty happy with that. So let's have a look how things have gone schedule-wise. And you can see we started as badly as we could possibly start. Home game against Banbury, who were predicted to, you know, to be mid-table, and we just didn't perform in this game at all. We were dreadful. But then 
Away at St. Neots, we won 5-2. A Cardos hat-trick, McCarthy and Andrews with goals there. Cogs Hall um, beat them 2-0. Good performance from uh, Christian Andrews. And then another performance uh, from nowhere against Stone Market where we just really didn't threaten very much. We followed that up with two 3-0 victories. The first away at Coventry, Cardos, McCarthy and Aguirre. And uh, this second one was a, uh, a win at home against Hitchin. Uh, Steve Hughes and two goals from Cardos as well. We've just in the last game drawn 1-1 one, one with Alva Church again not really putting a great performance in there. So it's been a bit of a mixed bag start but it's not too terrible. Banbury, the, the team that beat us, have really kicked on and uh, we're sitting a few points behind them and Shifnal Town but at the minute uh, I'm happy with the start and we're playing Nuneaton Borough away from home. Formation-wise, we have tweaked things because Cardos does not seem to play very well uh, with someone alongside him. So we are playing um, Andrews just behind him at the minute. But the possibility of uh, potentially bringing Sam McNally in there might be might be worth um, worth considering in in the future. We're going to put Steve. So uh, for today, we are going to be playing um, Nuneaton. Borough, um, we are missing Graham, so we'll just pop Morgan Owen, who's a bit disappointed he's not getting more games. And there we go. So um, I think I'm pretty pleased with the side. I think we, I could still do with a couple more players, but we have no more finances to, to play with. Let's go and play this match. I'm excited. So the team we've got is um, Honor in goal, Povey Dunn and Dunn and Barrett across the back line. Hughes and Owen as the, uh, sorry, Owen and McCarthy in the centre, the more defensive players, with Hughes, Brown and Andrews uh, ahead of them, and Alex Cardos up top. So it's a good side. I think we're certainly better than we were, but I think Barjones was the difference maker. Let's see what we can do against this mid-table non-eaten side. Two Dunns in the... Uh, in the back line, lovely ball potentially trying to find Brown early days didn't quite manage it though that's uh, well interesting play and Hughes plays it through Cardos can't get onto that we do seem to be struggling a little bit with those through balls but it's fine, here's Hughes going for another through ball don't know why we've seen such a long high. Here's Brown on the inside. And that's what we were waiting to see. And Brown just on his right foot, miles wide. So we've gone positive in the hope to create a little bit more. We probably have the the better of the play at the minute. Um, only a couple of chances for them. But a lovely ball over the top. We just can't find the man and Fry. It's a lovely through ball. And are they going to say that's a penalty? <sighs> I mean, if he's made that, if that's a foul, surely that's a sending off. I'm not complaining, but here's Fry. Oh, it's a lovely, a lovely finish just to the uh, right of the goalkeeper, and Kyle Fry gets his third of the season. That's a dis disappointing. I was... oh, dear me, dear me. Another highlight, but can it be for us? Ball is long. Oh, they've just picked McCarthy's pocket. It looks like we're missing having Graham in that role. Just not quite as creative. And it's a second penalty. <laughs> oh my lord. Second penalty. He can't do anything against, uh, against this sort of play. Oh. Honor made the save and it goes straight back to Fry. And he scores. Very, very frustrating. Well, not the first half I was hoping for. I mean, in all honesty... Other than the two penalties, they haven't really offered anything. But what what can you do to that? We might have a look at maybe putting McNally up top. See if we can use his height. Right, McNally's come on for Andrews as a target forward. We'll see whether his height is useful. McCarthy here, is he going to float in or is he going to go for the near post? He doesn't either. He just goes over the top. Well, it looked like we're creating chances. We're struggling to... I mean, obviously we... We can't create chances as good as a penalty. Well, I don't know what happened there, but Barnett's picking the ball up. Looked like the uh, the goalkeeper just completely misjudged that. <laughs> Povey, he lumps it in. The goalkeeper comes out, 
and yeah, and Barnett's just there. It's 2-1. That is nicely done. Well done, boys. Well, Carlos has been playing really poorly, but we've... Uh, what is going on there? Is that in? That is in Zach Simons, who's come on for Dunn at the back, who is feeling a bit tired. We've seen two terrible bits of goalkeeping, which is... Um, well, we're we somehow 2-2 in this. We're going to have to look at this one again. Here's McCarthy. Bangs it into there. Goalkeeper comes out and misses it again. And just sort of punches it into Simons. We've been a bit lucky to get back into this. And there's five minutes left now. Well, there we go. It finishes uh, unbelievably 2 all. Two penalties from them. And we scored two goals from massive mistakes from uh, their, def their goalkeeper. So we'll take that. Um, Carlos had a bit of a mare, didn't really contribute. McNally did better, and we certainly seemed to create more when McNally came on. So maybe we'll consider playing McNally alongside Cardos to try and create a little bit more. We might have to play with Cardos's role and what the best role for him is. I'm not 100% sure. But in the end, it's a draw. It's not the end of the world. Probably didn't deserve it. So we'll have a look where we're going to come back and what has that done in the table so here we go we sit in fifth so we haven't dropped out of the uh, uh, playoff places we we take that that point <laughs> just about and um yeah that that's fine fifth fifth is fine it was a, it was a tough away match we've got shepton mallet in the cup next up hopefully we can have a bit of a cup run and we will come back i think Maybe for the match against Hales Owen, something like that, or Kettering. So we'll move. We'll try and move on a little bit further. Anyway, folks, let me know what you thought of those. That defending or that goalkeeping, it was quite spectacular, wasn't it? Were those both penalties? I don't think they were. Maybe the second one, the first one, looked like a clean tackle to me. Uh, but we're on. We're on a reasonable run of form. A couple of losses, a couple of draws, but four victories. So we are doing pretty well i hope you enjoyed that if you did make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you for the next one goodbye